And as you ground yourselves, begin to bring your attention to the center of your chests. Breathing into the spiritual heart. Expanding the heart. See or imagine a white light growing from your heart. Expanding. And allow this light to begin to spill outside of you and surround you. Raising your vibration, using your heart, using your breath. When you open your hearts and you are grounded, you are ready to receive. We ask you to relax your bodies. Greetings, we are the Ascended Masters. Here to convey a message of peace and harmony. Harmony is a key word we would like to focus on today. Harmony in your lives, harmony in your bodies, harmony in your homes and in your vehicles. When you use your breath properly and you use it to ground yourself on the daily basis, and you use it to expand your heart on the daily basis, and you use it to clear your mind on the daily basis, you begin to raise your vibrations through intent. You begin to raise your vibration to intent, and you begin to align to more harmonious energies. Harmony is a word that is commonly used in your world, yet the frequency of that energy is quite powerful, for it can assist you if you decide to ride on it in going through your life in a more easily, easily and gentle way. It can assist you, we could say, it would be almost like riding a train that can take you straight to where you need to go harmoniously, always meeting and finding the right places, the right people. Through harmony, your bodies, your physical bodies are content. They are able to heal themselves through harmony and through peace. But peace is something that you must find between your thoughts, your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, the spirit, the heart, so that the body can find harmony within itself. Today, we feel, we find that this is a very close group. Your energies are very close, very tied together, very close to your bodies. You are seeking to find. You must connect to the self always. But you cannot do that if you do not trust yourselves to find you must ground and go into the heart and bring your frequency higher and higher 
but you must trust yourselves when you sense, when you feel, when you know something. You must trust this information. The uh, energy in Ottawa lately is quite dense. Uh, anything that we can do as individual or as a group to uh, change the energy? Yes. This is something that we have brought to the attention of many of you now. The density of the energy of your city is because it is a city that represents itself or a whole country in the world or in the planet. In order to assist this energy into becoming lighter, all of you must continue to do what we asked you to do if it is your desire to assist, which is to ground and to open your heart. But you must also hold compassion and love for those who are acting in the political stage of the world. You must hold compassion and love for them, for they need the light as well. For often they can be blinded, blinded by greed, blinded by things that they are being deceived by. This is not to be judgmental, but to bring something to the attention of humanity. When a political city presents itself in the world stage, it must always have heart. But it can, one individual cannot do that alone. Two individuals cannot do that alone. A small group of individuals cannot do that alone. It must be a whole city that supports them and even a whole country that supports them. This is why it is important that many people in the city begin to awaken more and more, that you come together in groups such as this ones or your own groups in other settings where you can begin to bring light to this city and to the people that are acting as the representatives of this country or of this city. It is important that you bring light and love in peace to the world through your own hearts, for you are all channels of energies. And you are all channels to your own frequencies, the frequencies that you wish to tap into as well. This you must be aware of. When you bring love to something that is dark, you assist it in healing itself. This is what we always represent any kind of healing through love, through light never through hatred, never through darkness, for then that would feed it more. When you see someone acting a certain way, whether it is in the political stage or in your homes or in your workplaces, you must act with love. Whether you see them on the road in your cars while you're driving and you feel angry about something that someone is doing, have compassion for those individuals have disconnected themselves from their heart and therefore a higher part of themselves. What you have asked is a very important question. It is something that has to be brought into the attention of many. For many of you are being affected by this energy. You will find that some of you who are more open get more headaches or aches through your bodies. Some of you are receiving this energy or tapping into it in an uncomfortable way. You might feel uncomfortable one day or your energies might feel down in another day or you might not feel so well. Your mood might not be the same as it usually is. You might go to work and feel something that doesn't feel right to you. This is because you are sen sensing the mass energy that is being produced. Yes, it is being produced because the more and more of you that tap into it and indulge in this energy, the more that is being fed, the more that it can grow and expand. And so by coming together in groups or by you individually doing this, sending love and light to individuals or to groups or even a whole system, you begin to 
alleviate, relax, lighten the mood, the energies, the frequencies that are in those organizations, in those places, or surrounding specific people or individuals. And therefore, the energy that is above or residing above the rice consciousness, the mass conscious energy above your city, begins to clear up. Imagine it right now as if you're seeing a gray sky and some light is coming through. That is correct, light coming through. You would want these clouds to completely be gone so that it can be a sunny day in your city. And this is very possible. This is very possible. This is very possible. So go home and bless your homes. Go home and bless your land. Go home and bless your vehicles for they are an extension of you. Go home and bless the place you work in. Bless your offices or wherever it is you work. Bless it. Bless it. Bless your family. Bless the land. Bless your city. Bless everything and everyone you encounter. And begin to see how things begin to change as you begin to do this, not just for yourself, but for all of those in this city.